And we're back. This is the second video of week one of the first full week of remote learning. So this is the week of March 30th through April 3rd. And today this video is for Thursday, April 2nd. So you should be watching this video after you have done everything from the daily agendas for Monday through Wednesday. So Monday through Wednesday, that video outlined everything you should be doing with the slide presentation, the assignment details, your assigned topic, as well as how you should actually create the Google Slides presentation and submit that. So you should be watching this video after you have submitted the slide presentation to the Google Doc assignment page next to your name. You should have copied and pasted your link next to that by Wednesday, yesterday at 5 p.m. So today, Thursday, so this is the second half of the week, so this is now the second half of the assignment. So what you are going to be doing today, what I'm asking you guys to do, so the reason we shared all of the uh, Google slide presentations to that one page is so now you can actually go back and learn from them. So typically if we were doing this in class, I would have you present these to the class. It would be a presentation grade. Obviously for the purpose of remote learning, we're not able to do that. So what you're going to do is you are going to go through and you are going to read 12 different presentations. So for just about every single presentation, there were two of you who created a presentation. So you don't need to go through both unless you want to. I'm just asking you to review all 12 aspects of Elizabethan life and uh, you can choose to watch whichever presentation you want. So if you would like to watch two, you are welcome to, but you don't have to. So this is the second thing on the daily agendas for today, for Thursday, April 2nd. So the second thing says you should read one presentation per topic. Again, it's up to you which presentation you choose to click through. While you are clicking through these presentations, I highly suggest you take notes. Jot down a couple things here and there from each of the given topics. The reason being, your final assignment for this week is going to be to type a one-page summary, basically a one-page synopsis of what you learned about Elizabethan life. So there's a couple requirements. This is number three on the daily agendas for Thursday. So in terms of what this looks like, so this is going to be same thing as last week. You're going to turn it into turnitin.com. You're also going to use MLA formatting. So MLA formatting, if you need a review, that's on the daily agendas from that last week. But this time, instead of a paragraph, it's going to be one page double spaced. Okay, so again, MLA format is always double spaced. So it's a one page synopsis of what you learned about Elizabethan life. And a couple stipulations. You need to include something from all 12 topics. So you can't just write an entire page about medicine during Elizabethan life. You need to include something from all 12 topics. So that's why I recommend when you go through and read the different presentations that you take a couple notes here and there so you don't have to have all 12 presentations pulled up. The other reason to do that is for this uh, typed MLA page, for this summary of Elizabethan life, you cannot copy and paste from other people's presentations. This needs to be in your own words. So again, you're turning it into turnitin.com. Not only am I going to be reviewing other people's presentations, but turnitin.com checks for plagiarism. So don't just copy and paste from somebody else's presentation, especially don't copy and paste it. They should have done the presentation in their own words, but if they just copy and paste it from a website, which I told you not to do, then that's going to show up in turnitin.com if you just copy and paste it from their presentation. So your summary needs to be written in your own words. Don't just copy what somebody did on their presentation. Again, this is a quiz grade, so it's to help you understand Elizabethan life and culture. That is your only assignment. This is going to be due tomorrow, Friday, April 3rd, by 5 p.m. Same thing as last week with your spring break paragraph. You need to actually upload a document in order to keep the MLA formatting. So several of you had questions last week. Those of you who did, it's my understanding that we addressed those. So you should be able to do it this week without any issues. Don't copy and paste anything into turnitin.com. You have to actually upload the document. So you are uploading the document that you saved to your computer. It's a one-page typed, double-spaced, what I guess I keep calling it a summary or a synopsis, whatever you want to refer to it as. But basically, it is truly your analysis of the 12 different presentations that you read. So you're summarizing everything you read. You're telling me about Elizabethan life. Again, it's a page and it's a quiz grade. So if you have questions, let me know. All of this is outlined on the daily agendas. Should be pretty straightforward. One page, tell me what you learned about Elizabethan life. Just make sure you hit all 12 topics. If you have questions about this, feel free to email me. I'll update the daily agendas as necessary, but this is due Friday by 5 p.m. to turnitin.com. 
Okay, that's it in terms of the assignment. After that, if you finish that this weekend, just enjoy your weekend and keep updating the prayer request page, the fun things page. I really want to know what's going on in your life. If you want to start posting videos too on the fun things page or pictures of yourself at home, what you're doing, I'd love to see it because I miss you all dearly. So keep me updated. All right, thanks.